it's so funny many nights I just sit on the beach and because often people come here and tell me it's, it's so strange when I sit here it is as if all my troubles go out with the next tide and and I must admit that this is um, one of the things that I love here it, it's it's such a um, spiritual high but then there are the nights then there are those strange strange nights when you're sitting on that beach and somewhere deep in our own memory psychic or whatever you want to call it one can almost hear hear those chains after uh, the importation of, of new slaves was uh, outlawed in a law passed by Thomas Jefferson in 1807. The New England slaving families re-registered their ships under the Spanish flag and brought their cargo uh, bound for the uh, American colonies, for, or the American states at this point, to Fernandina. Um, and they would be warehoused here and, and then smuggled across the border into Georgia. Fernandina, this tiny little area right here where we are on a 13-mile island, was the headquarters for the illegal slave trade. Amelia Island was a warehouse for slaves bound across the border into Georgia uh, to be sold into slavery. The penalty for being caught at this smuggling was death. When the slave master or the, the ship captain found that he was caught, um, it was a case of, of his neck or theirs. The records show that uh, there were instances where the British or American men of war would approach the uh, slavers uh, under the Spanish flag and the cargo would go overboard. Cargo was Africans who would wash up in their chains uh, on the beaches here. It's, it's the most horrendous thing you can imagine when you're out there on American beach. This beautiful place where, where my great-grandfather brought us freedom, bought us um, a feeling of, of dignity and, and good feeling. The full horror of slavery was as dramatically demonstrated on this beach as, as maybe anywhere in the Americas. The nights that I'm sitting on that beach, when I hear those voices, it's, it's, it's like they're giving me that pain that I need again to keep fighting, to keep knowing that there must be justice.